We tend to think of sharks as the unflinching predators of the sea. There is no animal out there more frightening than this one, but when you dive deep enough, you find out that this isn't the case at all. There are many more animals capable of defeating these terrifying animals. From our favorite marine friends to a terrifying fish, let's meet the 20 animals that could defeat a shark. Number 20. Dolphins Honestly, if you ask most people, they'll tell you just how cute and innocent dolphins are. They couldn't possibly hurt people. They chatter and jump and swim in pods. Well, my friends, let me tell ya, this creature is a hundred times more dangerous than a shark. And here's why. While they are on the surface some of the most adorable animals known to man, dolphins have always been known to have a darker sight. In fact, there have been many reported cases of dolphins attacking and, in some cases, killing humans, this is something that environmental officials have warned about for years. Just because cartoons and movies portray dolphins as friendly, crime-solving little dudes doesn't mean that's how they are in reality. But many people just don't want to listen to that, and that's why we end up with such tragic headlines. It doesn't just stop with humans, however. There have been some instances in which a dolphin has found found itself forced to fight for its life against a shark. And when they're backed into a corner, these little guys are ready to fight. Their teeth are surprisingly sharp, capable of delivering a deadly blow if they wanted. The shark wouldn't really have any idea what hit it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Angler Fish the ocean is full of unpredictable animals, and honestly, the deeper you go, the more terrifying the whole thing becomes. It really is like slowly venturing into a bad neighborhood, but with, uh, you know, a lot of sharp teeth and terrifying looking eyes. The anglerfish has to be one of the most terrifying creatures ever to exist, period. They like to hide in the deep, dark recesses of the ocean, where they're not bothered too much by animals like sharks. But that doesn't mean this doesn't happen. In fact, if a shark has the misfortune of stumbling upon not one, but a large group of anglerfish, as often happens, it's in deep doo-doo. The angler will get aggressive and attack the shark as soon as it's in range. And once the angler latches on with those big teeth, the shark is doomed. The biggest advantage that the angler has is its numbers. These guys hunt as a pack, and the shark has no way to counter that. Anglerfish can be found all over the world, but thankfully most of us won't get anywhere near deep enough to see it for ourselves, and that's probably a blessing for the shark too, all things considered. I don't think any animal would want to be lured to their death by a skeleton fish with a flashlight. Number 18. Orca Orcas are the undisputed kings of their domain, and a healthy orca almost always wins when it comes to a fight against a great white. Mutilated great white carcasses that wash up on beaches are evidence of orcas' dominance over their unwitting prey. Although many people think of the great white shark as the ocean's top predator, orcas are actually much more vicious killers. In 2009, a team of marine ecologists and scientists tagged 17 great whites in California. The team observed the great whites hunting elephant seals for months, but the predatory habits of the great whites stopped when orcas arrived. The sharks fled the scene just a few hours later and didn't return to the hunting area until months later, and even then they continued to flee any time the orcas appeared. Deadliest predator ever? Apparently not. There have been several instances of orca killer whales attacking and mutilating great white sharks. In 2017, the bodies of five sharks were found on the beaches of western Cape Province in South Africa, missing their livers. Scientists determined that only one predator is capable of performing such an attack, the orca killer whale. The findings led to the conclusion that orca killer whales have developed a method for killing great whites without getting harmed. Number 17. Hippo 
Despite their bad reputation, sharks are not the most dangerous animals on Earth. Hippos are much more dangerous and responsible for killing more people than any other mammal on the African continent. That's quite an achievement, but how do they fare against each other? This incredible footage shows a bull shark, or a Zambezi shark, swimming right into a horde of hippopotamuses. These supersized animals aren't fussy about where they drop their junk. so they often attract assemblies of hungry fish. It would be the best place for the shark to find a leftover snack, but the water is murky and the shark bumps into the hippo, igniting a violent fight. It's at this moment the shark knew he had screwed up. Fortunately, the shark is much more agile and quicker than the hippo, allowing it to escape. Bull sharks can adjust their biological processes to increase salt retention in fresh or brackish waters. They're not afraid to swim upstream even against a strong current, but most people wouldn't expect them to take on hippos. Number 16. Giant Octopus I don't know what it is, but there's just something very unsettling about an animal with a lot of legs. The knowledge that they can just move more quickly and take advantage of our pathetic four-legged anatomy is pretty terrifying to me, so imagine how it must feel for the sharks who have to take them on. The question obviously is, could a giant octopus kill a shark? The answer is yes. While octopuses tend to pursue prey much smaller than themselves, their unique biology means they can use their strength to overpower enemies bigger than themselves. That includes sharks. In fact, there have been instances in aquariums all over the world in which giant octopuses have killed sharks. How do they do it? The octopus wrestles the shark, turning them upside down to paralyze them, and then gorge on their flesh. The shark has no way to fight against it. If you're talking about an octopus that has some venom, then you're looking at an animal that can kill the shark even quicker. Basically, the answer to the question is that octopi can indeed kill sharks if they wanted to. And sometimes they do. What did I tell ya? Terrifying! Number 15. Giant Squid in 2020, scientists found evidence of a shark battling what may have been a giant squid and living to tell the tale. This is the first scientific evidence ever found of a shark interacting with a giant squid, or for that matter, any large species of squid, which can live at depths of more than a thousand feet. So what can this tell us about a squid versus shark fight? A lot actually. This shark got extremely lucky. If the squid were to attack a shark, it would need to take only one bite with its beak, this would penetrate through the shark skin, and the squid would be able to hang on to the shark with its serrated suction cups. From there, it could break through the body of the shark and kill it. The only hope for survival for the shark in this situation would be if it could somehow get away before being bitten. As soon as the squid latches on, it's all over. The squid has multiple opportunities to attack, so it would come out as the victor in this battle between two sea monsters. So to sum up, the squid would not stand a chance against the squid, and it has nothing to do with arms. The squid is just better equipped to win the fight. Number 14. Sea Snake Sea snakes may not be among the most well-known or popular animals for us humans, but they probably should be. They're fascinating creatures in their own right, and in the right circumstances, they can turn out to be pretty formidable predators too. The likelihood of a sea snake and a shark getting into a fight is actually pretty low. The sea snake will do whatever it can to avoid getting into any kind of confrontation. In fact, the sea snake would have to be really provoked to get into a fight with a shark. However, I guess we can look at this a different way. If the snake was able to somehow get its venom into a shark, would it kill the shark? Well, honestly, nobody has any idea since this has never actually been recorded. However, logically, it's possible that a great white would succumb to the poison of the Belcher sea snake, which has one of the most potent venoms of any species in the world. However, again, we have to acknowledge that all of this depends on a very specific set of circumstances. It's highly highly unlikely that any sea snake would willingly get into a fight with a shark, and even more unlikely that they could bite through the shark's skin. So I guess technically the snake would win if the impossible happened. Number 13. Komodo Dragon 
As we've already established, the shark's reputation may be a little bit overblown, considering how many animals are capable of beating it in a fight, but there's another animal who has a pretty justifiable reputation of fear, the Komodo dragon. What if they encountered one another? On a logical level, the shark would win since it's significantly bigger and more powerful, but you'd be wrong to assume that it's an easily won battle. the Komodo dragon is venomous, its sharp teeth known to cause serious damage to any living animal that gets bitten. The shark is much quicker, of course, and would have an advantage over the Komodo in that regard, but it's really difficult to figure out who would win in this fight, because both creatures are such formidable predators. The shark has a lot of advantages in the water, but a single bite from the Komodo could cause problems for the shark. Of all the fights we've covered so far, this one is probably the closest. There's no easy way to figure out who'd win in a battle between the shark and the Komodo dragon. Whoever gets the first bite would probably have the advantage, but who it would be, I have no idea. Number 12. Bear. Yep, this is a bizarre matchup. In what world, in what circumstance would a shark and a bear ever get into a confrontation? It's a good question, and I have absolutely no answer to it. Maybe the bear was just sniffing a little too close to the water, or maybe it's a foodie and just wanted a taste of shark. Given the bizarrely specific circumstances that would need to happen for this fight to occur, It's impossible to know for sure which of the two would win, but there are definite advantages for both. For one thing, the shark is much better adapted to the water than the bear, so the odds are firmly in the shark's favor. The one exception to that is the polar bear, which may well be the best match against a shark, but even they would struggle against the sharks. There are, of course, chances that the bear could get an advantage and somehow pull off the impossible. This is also one of the few matches that have a recorded presence. Precedent. Greenland sharks have been found with polar bear remains inside of them, suggesting that the shark would win this fight. Of course, it's not a given, more of a presumption. The bear could win if it got very lucky. Number 11. Saltwater Crocodile the saltwater crocodile is one of the most fearsome predators in the world. In fact, any crocodile would probably be counted as one of the most fearsome predators in the world. There's pretty much nothing that can stop them when they lock onto their prey, except sharks. In this case, it really depends on the species involved. If it's a shark smaller than a great white, the crocodile will win. But if it's a shark as big or bigger as the Great White, the crocodile will lose. Either way, it's gonna be a pretty brutal fight. In order to beat the croc, the shark will have to land quite a few bites, and they'll have to hope that they can somehow chew through the crocodile's strong scales. But if they can do that, there's truly no stopping them. So again, this is an instance where it all depends on the species in question. Whoever is bigger wins, but isn't that always the way? If you put a mouse up against against a cat. Who do you think is gonna win the fight? Actually, I take that back. I've seen Tom and Jerry. I know that's not always true. Number 10. Shark. Honestly, this one kind of seems like a really simple one to get your head around. Obviously, sharks are naturally able to beat other sharks. That seems really clear, but here's the thing. Sharks don't just kill other sharks, they also eat them. Lovely, right? This is a very common occurrence out in the world. Marine biologists have confirmed that all species of shark are inherently cannibalistic. It's not just one species or one kind of shark that's known for turning against the other. It's all of them, a lot of different sharks turning against one another. In fact, there have been more and more reports over the past few years of mutilated shark carcasses being pulled from the ocean. All of them are so badly torn apart that it could only possibly be the work of another hungry shark. It's believed that often these cannibalistic attacks stem from easy pickings. When sharks are hooked by human intervention, they send out a distress signal which is then picked up by other sharks who are looking for a quick snack. They find the vulnerable shark and you know where it all leads. It doesn't end well for the hooked shark. Number 9. Seals 
Many people would assume that a seal would be no match for a shark. They're not particularly fearsome at all. Most seals just seem to be having a great time out in the open ocean. But no, you'd be surprised at how intimidating they can be if you get them in the wrong mood. It's often said that where there are elephant seals, white sharks are nearby. Sharks often attempt to chew their way through seals, but their blubber fat usually ends up protecting them from certain death. Because of that, the seals are able to survive a huge amount of shark attacks, something that probably irritates the shark, but can they actually beat the shark in a fight? Honestly, probably not, but the fact that the seals are able to survive a shark attack and just swim off to a new life means that nobody really won the fight. So this may be a case of neither animal winning, instead it's a win by default for the seal, who did not give in to its injuries, and if you're not sure if it's a win, uh... Just trust me, it's absolutely a win. If I get punched and I don't get a bruise, that's a big one for me. Number 8. Sea Turtle Turtle versus shark. Kinda seems like an easy match, right? How could a sea turtle possibly survive up against an animal as big as a shark? Well, as we've seen time and time again, the impossible is not at all impossible. And we have proof. In 2020, researchers attached cameras to sea turtles, hoping to study their movements beneath the ocean surface. But they could never have expected to see what they did. A turtle fighting off a shark. As the turtle swims through the water off the coast of Western Australia, Australia, the tiger shark suddenly appears in the frame. Sensing that it would have to defend itself, the turtle begins making lunging, biting gestures toward the shark before eventually swimming away at some speed. It's concrete proof that not all turtles are placid and innocent. If they feel threatened, they can fight for themselves. Experts were amazed to see the turtle defending itself so strongly. It's yet another example of how fierce the creatures within the animal kingdom can be if they feel threatened. Even when facing off against an animal significantly bigger and more dangerous than themselves, these animals will continue pushing for survival, as if their life depends on it. Because it does. Number 7. Blue Whale the blue whale is one of the biggest animals on the planet. It seems like it's not outside the realm of imagination for it to be able to successfully take on a shark. But could it actually do that? Let's find out, shall we? While some believe that the blue whale is just too big to successfully attack a shark, others believe that its size makes it even more possible. If the Great White tried to attack a blue whale, it would be facing a pretty big challenge no matter what. You're talking about an intimidating animal taking on a much bigger one. However, the shark does have some advantages over the whale. For one thing, the shark is able to move much quicker, meaning that it could escape if the whale attacked first. So despite the size issue, it's not exactly an open and shut case. The answer to the question of who would win is not easy. Clearly both of them have their own set of advantages and disadvantages, but it's not impossible to imagine that the blue whale could actually manage to overpower the shark winning the battle against all the odds. Number 6. Hagfish Nobody in their right mind could ever claim that the hagfish is cute. I mean, it's slimy, it's got no jaw, it's, uh, it's interesting. Why don't we say that? It's an interesting fish that doesn't leave the memory particularly quickly. It's also got a very intriguing way of fighting potential threats, and by intriguing, I obviously mean gross. As part of a New Zealand study into deep-sea animal diversity, marine biologists attached special cameras to some fascinating fish. One of those cameras has captured this footage of various fish attacking hagfish, and it's fascinating. When it's attacked, the hagfish releases a strange mucus-like substance from its slime glands and anywhere up to 200 slime pores. When predators like sharks happen to get too close, that mucus-y substance causes them to gag and understandably retreat. The footage confirmed what biologists had always suspected, that the hagfish's super-fast slime proves a 
formidable and very useful defense mechanism. While it may not quite be as fierce as just biting or attacking the shark, you have to admire the hagfish for its unique approach to its own safety. Releasing mucus that makes everyone gag and run away? That's pretty smart, actually. Someone in my high school math class used to do the same thing. Works every time. Number 5. Box Jellyfish Everyone knows what to do if you get stung by a jellyfish, or at least everyone knows what people tell you to do if you get stung. You pee on the sting, right? Well, how does that work if you're not a human, but an animal? Like, say, a shark? Intriguingly, the box jellyfish is known to cause more deaths and serious injuries than sharks, sea snakes, and stingrays combined. And while sharks are more than happy to consume jellyfish, they go out of their way to avoid larger, more venomous species that could end up killing them. Not all sharks are quite that smart, however, and that's how the box jellyfish would be able to take down the, uh, less intelligent sharks. One bite of a poisonous jellyfish and you can pretty much guarantee that it's all over for the shark. What a way to go! And no, in case it's not clear, there's no solution to a shark getting stung. They can't pee on themselves in the way that a human could, and honestly, I doubt they'd want to. Instead, if they consume a poison this jellyfish, they pretty much have to just suck it up and wait for the inevitable death to come. Number 4. Sperm Whale who would win in a fight between a sperm whale and a great white shark? You only have to look at the sheer difference in size to have an idea of the answer to the question. The sperm whale is unthinkably bigger than the shark, but does that mean it's an easy win? Not necessarily. In Kaikoura, New Zealand, people flock from all over hoping to get a glimpse at the local wildlife, and specifically, they want to get a glimpse at the sperm whale, the largest of all predators. The interesting thing here however, is that the sperm whale also has a habit of hunting local sharks. While we always knew that the sperm whale eats squid and other fish, I'm not sure anybody would have expected them to eat sharks too, but according to one 1980 study, historical whaling confirmed that several large sharks had been found in the stomachs of sperm whales. In fact, in 1998, three sperm whales were spotted attacking a megamouth shark, one of the most enigmatic species on the planet. So, all things considered, it actually kind of is an easy win. It doesn't really seem like the shark really has any say in the matter whatsoever. It doesn't seem like the shark really has any say in the matter whatsoever. It'll be dead before it has time to realize what's going on. Number 3. Moray Eel they have the appearance of a very sinister muppet, but is the moray eel something to be feared? Absolutely! This species is not particularly known for attacking humans, of course, but they are known to attack if they happen to feel threatened, and that's bad news for sharks. But then, this whole video is just bad news after bad news for sharks. It's not uncommon in the underwater world for sharks to get a little too close to the moray eel, and when that happens, trouble follows, as the largest steel in the ocean, the giant moray is capable of taking on surprisingly strong prey, like small sharks, and no, the shark doesn't really stand a chance against the eel when the moray eel feels threatened. It really feels threatened and will do whatever it takes to defend itself and take down its rival. And more often than not, it succeeds. But again, it all depends on the size of the shark. If you put a large shark up against the eel, then the whole thing will work out very differently. But in the right circumstances, the eel will be able to take down the shark without much effort. And at that point, the fight is pretty much over before it even begins. Put it this way, if you bought it on pay-per-view, you'd be asking for a refund. Number 2. Lamprey the lamprey is one of the strangest fish you could ever see in the open ocean, but they're pretty well known for their antics when it comes to sharks. Often described as a parasite, the lamprey is famous for feeding on sharks, though it's almost impossible to witness this for yourself. Throughout history, there have been sporadic reports of a sighting of these two animals going at it, but they tend to do a pretty good job at keeping it away from the public eye. As parasitic organisms, lampreys have to attach themselves to a host,
in order to survive. With sharks, they focus on the cloaca because the scales here are not as rough as in other areas of the body. Their razor-sharp teeth allow the lamprey to latch onto the shark and feed on all the nutrients it desperately needs. It's very disturbing. The lamprey is one of the most important animals in its local ecosystem, even if it does look nightmarish. For sharks, however, they pose an especially big nightmare. When the lamprey attaches to the shark, there's nothing that can be done about it. The shark has no choice but to accept that it's pretty much over. Death is coming. Number 1. Leviathan 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs famously went extinct. With the big guys wiped off the face of our planet, the largest animals on Earth were found in the oceans, and one of them was more famous than any other, the giant shark known as Megalodon. However, while the 50-foot-long Meg gets all the attention, it was far from the only huge animal in the oceans. One of its fiercest rivals, the Leviathan, a giant prehistoric sperm whale, doesn't get anywhere near the attention attention it probably should. But the Leviathan was just as intimidating and legendary, perhaps even more so, than the Meg. During the mid-Miocene epoch, it's known that their territories overlapped, which means these two animals surely had their share of battles, and it's far from a sure thing that the Meg won. The Leviathan had teeth much longer and thicker, as well as a significantly bigger brain. Those advantages mean that the Leviathan could react quicker than the Meg and pack a much bigger bigger bite. Ultimately, it's likely that the Leviathan would win any potential fight. The Megalodon just doesn't have enough advantages to counter. Its primitive shark brain prevents it from running away, and its only attack would be to get a bite of the Leviathan's underside, the most vulnerable part of the body. Meanwhile, the Leviathan can get a bite pretty much anywhere and win. Pretty easy fight here. Again, you'd be asking for a refund on the pay-per-view if you were expecting something more dramatic. Which unexpected shark fighter surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.